Doing Friend Zones back today to talk about the proper way to um, brush your dog and demat your dog. Uh, a lot of people, what they do is they brush the top of their dog like this, and then they bring the dog in for grooming and they say, yes, I've been brushing my dog every single day. And that's what they're doing. They're brushing on the top of the dog. And then the top of the dog looks all nice and fluffy and they'll, they'll say, oh yeah, the kids did it. And I'm thinking, okay, yeah. Well, if the kids did it, then we know there might be a bit of a problem. Nice try. Good effort for trying, but so pro the tools are the most important thing. You need a basic slicker brush, which are not expensive. They come in soft bristle, medium bristle, and firm. So depending on your dog's coat, um, you can you can pick the, the bristle according to that. This is Ava. She's a soft coat of Wheaton Terrier. Her coat is fairly soft and fluffy. So this one is, is probably, I would call this one a medium slicker brush. Um, and then you need, this is a very, very important, a basic comb. It's got thinner, thinner um, teeth at the bottom or at one end and thicker or wider at the, at the other end. And then I have a dematting tool. If there's mats that you can't get out, this can break them up a little bit so you can get a brush through them. So the, the easiest way to explain it and the basic technique is, it's called, basically it's called line brushing is what it's called, the technical term for it. And what you wanna do is you wanna do your dog in sections. So hopefully you can see this okay. Hopefully Ava will cooperate with me. And I'm doing, again, I'm doing it on the ground because that's where you would be doing it. Um, normally I would, while I'm working, I would do it on a grooming table. So you basically, you lift, the coat up, you want to make sure you see the skin and then you brush in sections. And then you take another section and you'll see the skin and the, basically the part. That's where the line brushing comes in. Do another section, see the new part. Do another section. See the part and then usually on dogs their legs get matted the worst so I would do one leg at a time and so that your dog doesn't get too irritated I would pick one section of the dog and try and do it like at one like I wouldn't do the whole dog all at once do one leg one night the other leg another night and then once you've got the whole dog dematted it's not going to take that long at all so again sections And then lift it up the new section and Ava hasn't been groomed in a very long time because she's my dog and groomers don't groom their own dogs like they should so you just keep doing that in sections and then if you hit a spot where there's a mat that you can actually see you can try and pull it apart with your fingers but if it's really really dense you won't be able to do that so you take the dematting tool and this can just kind of split the mat up a little bit where you can get the brush through it. These are very sharp, so you have to be really, really careful you don't get this to the skin. And then the, the key to all of that is after you've done that, you have to run the comb through, make sure the comb's touching the skin and it'll glide right through when you know that, and that will tell you that you've got all the mats out. So that's the basic description on how to, how to brush properly. Um, I hope that I've explained that as thoroughly as I could for you to understand it. That didn't make any sense, did it? Anyways, um, so please like, subscribe, and comment at the bottom. If you have any questions at all, I'd be more than happy to help. And um, give us a like.